हेलो बच्चो सत श्री अकाल एंड नमस्ते फ्रॉम माई साइड वो यू ऑल इट्स सैड टू से बट यस इट्स वुड बी द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द इलेवन सिलेबस ऑफ द विक्ट्री बैच वेव्स वी स्टार्टेड जर्नी विद यूनिट्स एंड मेजरमेंट फॉलोड बाई मोशन इन वन डे एंड टू डे स्लोली स्लोली वी मूव ऑन टू द न्यूटन्स लॉज ऑफ मोशन वर्क एनर्जी एंड पावर रोटेशन क्रॉसिंग ऑफ द ग्रेविटेशन सक्सेसफुली एंड देन वी रीच टू द सॉलिड्स एंड फ्लूड्स एंड about uh, the thermal physics it was a quite interesting part and finally we have reached uh, from shm to the waves ah, don't get worried lots of things are going to come on this pwd channel okay stay tuned till end okay guys so i think uh, we should start without wasting our time with the waves yes waves the lecture of waves okay if a wave is formed and it is propagating from source to some destination right then what will be the natural reason behind it how it is propagating how we are going to represent the motion of that wave is it actually a transfer of a particle or any kind of the med solid medium from one point or it is a kind of a right energy or momenta transfer lots of things we are going to discuss in this stuff in this part sorry first of all i want to show you all what actually the wave is right and guys uh, right we are going to see it into the very rapid manner because this lecture will be quite uh, short as from the topics point of view short in doesn't means right 2 to 3 hours is like uh, what we can say it's good thing that you all are having right 2 to 3 hours of the content is a good thing in the english that you all are having okay now let's move on right okay wave thousands of the students that went into the gym We have seen this kind, da, 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 da. right? We have seen. Okay, this kind of stuff you have seen. Okay, so in this case, I want to tell you all what actually the wave is. First of all, I want to write down a simple stuff. Something is getting transferred. from one point to another and even this part of the motion is visible visible then this is not a technical definition i kept some suspenses here right this is not i must say this is not a technical definition right this is just a small explanation that i have written right and something is getting transferred from one point to another point what is that something and why it is that visible how it is getting transferred if we are going to understand this three things right the concept of the waves the fundamentals right of the waves will be quite clear in front of you right okay so now wave very simple thing right okay see wave is nothing else but the energy and momentum transfer tesla said you can explain everything the entire physics in terms of energy and lots of things uh, right are there but entire physics can be explained in terms of energy similarly what is getting propagated from one point to another point energy and moment how why entire physics right depends on why and suppose sir you said something is getting propagated from one point to another point and it isn't visible we considered your point we accept it right okay now you are saying that energy and momenta transfer is going on they are visible how how energy and momenta transfers are happening right and they are visible right so that's not fair so i have to tell you all in front right okay if they are visible it means there is a one medium in front and that medium is visible in that medium if energy and momenta are getting transferred from one point to another point right we can say yes things are visible in front of us at the very initial point and in the beginners level we can say 
wave is nothing else but an energy and momenta transfer from one point to another point on the next slide right okay i am going to discuss right why right so hope so it's a very simple definition right that you have kept in front okay now let's see the answer lies behind the formation of the wave how wave is formed if you are able to understand this concept right i'm damn sure right you will be able to understand how equation is formed and what is an actual analysis behind it suppose let us see can take an example to understand this okay this is a rigid wall right and this is a string attached to it right if you don't want to consider any rigid wall it's your call right we are not in between that part suppose let's take in uh, another thing right this is a string okay and uh, it's attached to a wall let's take the rigid wall or a wall on this side right how wave is formed suppose this is a situation where it is equivalent to zero first part now i'm taking the second one suppose at t is equal to total time by eighth part the capital t is the total time for the wave formation whole divided by eighth part right the one eighth part of the total time taken right for a wave formation Can I say one part of the wave is formed at t by eighth second? Let's move on to the third part. T is equal to two t by eight second, right? T is equal to two t by eight second, right? The another part of the wave is formed. See how it is formed, right? Gently, a force is applied. right there is a wall string attached to it gently i am applying a force right within a second high pulses form and it will propagate from one point to another point this activity we are going to discuss in detail again i am repeating in front of you all there is a wall in front right a string is attached to it a gentle force is applied this force is not considered in this case because we are going on to the theoretical aspects of this chapter right a gentle push so what activity is going on what we are analyzing why lots of things we are going to discuss see what what actual activity is going on string is attached to the wall right uh, uh, the another part of the string is in my hand i'm just applying a gentle force a pulse is formed and it is propagating in this direction this activity we are analyzing right so when i apply this gentle force in one second entire pulse what formed in one second mark my words in one second the entire pulse was formed so i'm talking about the eighth part of the pulse one by eighth time one by eight seconds this first part of the wave might get formed now what will happen here At t is equal to 2t by 8, this part of the wave is formed. Activity we are analyzing, a gentle push we have applied. Let's move on to the fourth part. At t is equal to 3t by 8. Right, this part of the wave is formed. Right, now let's move on to the fourth part. Uh, sorry fifth part again this will be the rigid wall right this will be the rigid wall and we are going to see some examples of it okay see this one now at time t is equal to we have taken 3t by 8 so it will be 4t by 8 seconds right half of the pulse is formed 
राइट सो ऑन अप्लाइंग एंड जेंटल फोर्स राइट इफ इन वन सेकेंड एंटायर फॉर्मेशन राइट ऑफ द पल्स इज है हाफ ऑफ द सेकेंड द हाफ पल्स इज फॉर्म राइट नाउ एट सिक्स t is equal to phi t by 8 right what's actually happening here t is equal to phi t by 8 okay i must say let's select the color of this pen and extend right this is a rigid ball we have extended till bottom right okay extended till bottom rigid ball okay see now now this half of the pulse has shifted a bit a new part of the pulse is getting formed at t is equal to phi t by 8 let's move on to the next part at t is equal to 6t by 8 right this part is getting shifted into the of uh, right okay and if i'm talking about the last t is equal to 8t by 8 right the entire pulse is formed now my question is why is this taking this kind of shape why why we are saying it as a wave what is actually law what is an actual thing going on right to the back of curtain Sir, you showed us the example. You have fixed the right. Of, you have a wall in front. You have attached that spring, that string. Right now, we are applying a gentle force. Right? We understood your example. Yes, this is how at the different time intervals the wave, some part of the wave is forming, and then the end we are getting the entire pulse. But, but why this kind of thing is happening? Why only this? There might be, there is a possibility, na? why only this shape what is an actual logic behind it and still the students might be having the right questions in their mind still sir still we are not able to connect the energy and momenta transfer right the energy and momenta transfer and this this example we are not able to connect now we are going to see that stuff right this is how uh, the wave formation is right now see what actually happens see this is the rigid wall right okay now we are going to correlate the first two presentation slides right okay so to understand the concept of the waves right this is a rigid wall right and this is a string attached to it i'm extremely sorry for this stuff okay now see what happens here suppose this is x is equal to 0 this is a position of the particle here there is one particle whose position is x1 here there is one particle whose position is x2 here the there is particle whose position is x3 here we are having the particle whose position is x4 here we are having x5 here we are having x6 here we are having x7 and here the last one it is x8 we are having the eight uh, particles that are kept on the string now what happens here right at t is equal to 0 force is applied a gentle force is applied so the nearest particle right to the position where force is applied will receive that enormous amount of the energy and it will try to oscillate suppose at t is equal to 0 from this position the gentle force is applied x1 will receive the enormous amount of the energy from that gentle force and on receiving the energy obviously here you have seen into the chemistry whenever the electron receives the energy right okay obviously the last part right into the orbit right okay always get unstable and it try to escape in another sense it tries out right whenever someone receives the energy obviously is in into the higher state so what does he or she tries they tr like the boat tries they to uh, the release the enormous amount of the energy to get back to its stable state so when gentle force is applied what will happen here this part 
right will receive the enormous amount of the energy the particle that is placed at the position x1 it will receive the enormous amount of the energy now what happens here now he is getting unstable now he want to be into his back to his stable state so for that he will try to oscillate from its mean position this will be its mean position common for all now it oscillate it's try to oscillate right with some uh, maximum amplitude the maximum displacement and transfers the energy to the nearest particle first point right on receiving energy from source it oscillates the particle oscillates and transfers energy to the nearest particles it transfers the energy to the nearest particle now this happens at t is equal to t1 time now x1 has transferred this entire energy once right to the particle on x2 now x2 received the energy again x2 wants to be in its stable state then what he will do again he will try to oscillate with the same amplitude and transfer the energy and it will transfer transfer the energy to the nearest particle so into the second point now x2 will oscillate and it burst out it will burst out its entire energy right okay it will give the entire energy to the particle who is on the position x3 now is getting oscillated right first also oscillated with the same amplitude the second is also getting oscillated with the same amplitude right now the energy has been transferred to the third one he also wants to be in stable state right so he is also transferring its energy by oscillating to the nearest particle right okay now this thing happens like this way right all are getting oscillated and right transferring their energy right to the nearest particle sir still we are students might be having the question in their mind those who are watching this lecture right so still we are not able to connect how wave shape is formed because all are oscillating with the same amplitude same amount of the energy they are getting received they are oscillating the same amount of the energy they are transferring right all are oscillating with the common mean position all are oscillating right with the common amplitude then how wave is formed sir still right we are not see you correlated students might be thinking like that you correlated right they might be thinking sir you correlated the energy and momenta transfer with this example we understood but still we are not able to understand how this shape is formed guys i must say all are having the same amplitude correct all are having the common mean position correct but i must say they are oscillating at the different time instance mark my words again highlight i am highlighting right they are oscillating at the different time instance right all particles oscillates at different time instance right first this particle will get oscillate right okay after some amount of time this particle is getting oscillate so for that reason right okay this kind of the wave is formed this kind of the shape is formed and that's why we are calling it as a wave why wave the name itself says that it states that something means something is getting wavy what is getting wavy right lots of parameters are there but here something is getting wavy that's why it is named as wave right now 
uh, you all understood right what is a wave see again i'm showing all the first slide of this presentation the energy and momenta transfer from one point to another point right see here the person who is in gym is trying uh, he is not applying a gentle force right but here what happens here see again one point is missing right here we saw the formation of the wave now i'm going to talk about the wave propagation you can see here first time suppose if applying the gentle force right in one second the entire pulse is formed right the formation the concept the logic behind the formation of the pulse yes sir we understood one particle is oscillating and then transfers its energy to the another particle again it is oscillating transferring its energy to the another particle again it is oscillating like that way it is going on and one pulse is formed sir now my question is how wave is getting propagated if one is oscillating right and transferring its energy to the second second is getting oscillated and transferring its energy to third the entire phenomenon i want to ask you all a question right is this phenomena happening only once is this phenomena happening only once so, that depends on you that depends on the source suppose if i'm applying the force just a once right just only right one time if i'm applying a force then sir one wave will form and it will propagate right why sir one wave is getting formed and it is getting propagated so the reason behind it is we are having the long string of length l and we have applied the gentle push as compared to the length of the string the wave is small right and energy see energy transfers always takes place between the source and destination in between those whatever the amount of the particles that are present all will get affected by the energy transfer it is a contagious right it is contagious if gentle force is applied right it completely depends on the length of a wave the wave length right if the length of the wave is equivalent to length of the string then only one wave formation takes place as compared to the length of the string right the wave is quite small that's why the one pulse is formed and it is getting propagated each of the particle is contagious right or it is transferring it is energy to the nearest particle right and like this way the wave is propagating right now my question says like e, 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 right uh, my, uh, my explanation right okay lies right okay now, now, now i'm going to give you all a right a different answer for this suppose if the source is continuously applying the force till now we have seen the example in which source applies just a gentle force or he applies right the force once and the pulse is formed but suppose if i'm applying this force continuously right then n numbers of the pulses are formed right it means whatever the particle that was at the position x1 it was transferring its energy to the particle at the position x2 this is not happening only once continuously x1 is transferring its energy to x2 x2 to x3 now this is the rapid phenomena and the continuous phenomena going on so in that case n number of the pulses are formed one pulse is formed it will get shifted second pulse is formed second pulse is formed right first and second both will get shifted third pulse is formed why this kind of thing is going on because continuously source is applying the force right okay so again i am going back to the first part of the presentation something is getting the energy and momenta is getting transferred from one point to another point and they are visible why they are visible because we are able to see the string medium is visible are you able to write right uh, can, can you see uh, the radio waves can you see the waves that are used for the propagation right no why because that medium is not visible the waves are not visible because they lie it does not lies into the visible region of the spectrum 
but in this case whatever the string we had attached that is a capability right for the wave production right that is visible to the human that's why we are able to see this wave formation right so this is what the entire condition right of the wave is all about okay so you can understand how shm holds the most important like it, it holds the prominent position right okay in understanding the concept of waves right shm holds the most prominent position right in understanding the concept of waves now let's see some terms important terms related to it okay what will be its wave equation right first of all we are going to see some of the important terms then we are going to correlate that wave equation right suppose here the wave is formed right so the first parameter amplitude the maximum displacement of a particle the amplitude the definition of the amplitude is same as we have seen into the shm maximum displacement of particle at different positions right maximum from the mean position suppose this is a mean position right the particle is getting displaced to the maximum part right now in this wave right okay we are having the two parts one it is known as crest one it is known as trough one it is known as node one is known as anti node i'm going to tell you all just move on to the nodes and anti nodes right why the reason is that right this thing these terminologies are quite right they are going to be helpful right while understanding the concepts of the organ pipes can i say this is a node can i say this is the anti node the maximum displacement of the particles from the mean position that will define its amplitude right the second most important terminology the second most important stuff right and that is wavelength of what length one pulse is formed in thousands of resources you will getting the you will be you have read uh, the okay enormous number the ample amount of that uh, this technical definitions but i'm going to as use as usual i used to say right in all of my lectures that i'm going to represent that definition that is quite easily understood by you all wavelength the length of a pulse shape that is formed the length of a pulse shape that is formed if the pulse is of this right then this will be the wavelength and it is determined by lambda right wave speed right suppose at t is equal to 0 right a gentle force is applied and in the time interval between 0 to t one one pulse is formed what will be this position of the pulse at time t2 right this will be the position of the pulse at time t2 what is the position of the pulse at time t3 is it propagating yes sir it is propagating this will be its position at time t. so at time t1 it was at this position at time t2 it was at this position at time t3 i'm talking about the entire pulse i'm talking about the entire wave right so at the different time intervals the position of the pulse is different so it means that this lambda is covering this time within some time interval some part of the lambda or lambda distance will be covered that will define the wave speed 
wave speed that is lambda by time right wave speed is completely we can correlate this to the propagation of the wave right we can correlate right uh, wave speed to the propagation of the wave the first part amplitude of the wave second part the length of the wave third is a wave speed the fourth is a wave number k that is defined as 2 pi by lambda now what will be the equation of the wave right angular frequencies and everything you all are aware of now here in shm only one phenomena was going on right particle was appealing oscillating to fro to fro to fro in shm for one particle right okay for one particle in surrounding there was no right see i am going to show you all the understand i'm going to explain the understand bit, uh, the difference between right i'm sorry I'm going to show you all, I'm going to uh, like explain you all the difference, the actual difference between SHM and waves, right? So this is the most important question where all the students are getting confused. The maximum number of the students will get confused. Right? I'm going to give you the solution for that, right? In SHM, right, we are not having any kind of the nearest particle, right, to which, right, energy can be transferred. No, we are not having that. We were, we were only dealing with one particle with respect to the mean position to fro to fro to fro but here in a surrounding we are having a nearest particle where energy can be transferred so shm we were only dealing with the see in that part we have seen that energy in the shm one is getting oscillated all of those fluctuations are going on in between kinetic energy potential energy kinetic energy potential energy kinetic energy but here what happens fluctuations are going on right but the energy is transferred to the, the the nearest particle is getting influenced as because of the previous one and he also starts uh, transferring its energy to the next like, the next position on which the particle is placed or particle is present right so this thing right in wave particle is getting oscillate transferring its energy in SHM, particle was only getting oscillated from one point to another point with respect to the mean position. Here, it is getting oscillated also, one wave shape is formed, right? And it is propagating also with respect to the time. There is a slight, this is a slight difference, right? Now, wave equations and wave conditions. Wave equation and the wave conditions. Okay, see lots of classifications of waves are there, right? Mechanical waves, non-mechanical waves, transverse waves, longitudinal waves, in one which medium we can see, medium is visible and lots of things are there and that is a quite easy part that is, right, understood by you all and that thing we are not going to discuss, right? But, wave equation. Suppose at t is equal to zero, one wave is formed right okay this is a y-axis this is an x-axis right i told you all the reason behind it why wave is formed because the particle at the different positions right are getting oscillated at the different time instance right and the wave is this kind of the shape is getting formed as because of this energy transfer right now after some time this is getting propagated this is getting propagated this is getting propagated, this is getting propagated, this is getting propagated, right? This is getting propagated, you can see, like this way. So, can I say at time t is equal to some t dash? Initially, wave was at this position. Now, the wave is at this position. This is a final position of the wave. This is an initial position of the wave, right? So, here the two things are going on. The first thing that is going on, that is SHM of a particle right the second thing SHM of the oscillation right of the particle the second thing it is going on wave propagation right in wave we have seen sorry in SHM we have seen that 
वॉट एवर द पार्टिंग इज पार्टिकल इज गेटिंग ऑसिलेटेड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द मेन पोजिशन राइट द मोशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल इज रिप्रेजेंटेड मैथमेटिकली एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम द मोशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल मैथमेटिकली रिप्रेजेंटेड एज द फंक्शन ऑफ द टाइम इन एस एच एम वी एव सीन सपोज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिप्रेजेंट द मोशन ऑफ द एस एच एम ऑफ द पार्टिकल राइट देन इट इज ऑलवेज द फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम here it is something else with respect to time particle is getting oscillated also and the wave is getting propagated so it means whatever here the equation is coming it is as because of position and time both this will show the position this will show the time this is how wave equation will be represented this is how the wave equation will be represented the equation of a particle that is performing an oscillator oscillation or shm right we were representing it as right we were representing the motion mathematically we were representing the motion as the function of time but here wave is getting formed also and getting propagated also in the specific direction so this activity this motion right will be represented into the function of time also and into function of right in what distance it is getting propagated so same y is equal to a sin suppose it is shm then we are having the equation as omega t plus pi right we have seen in the previous lecture now what was the equation of shm y is equal to a sin omega t plus pi a was the uh, right amplitude sin function shows right that the factors are changing in between maximum to minimum right they are getting fluctuated in between maximum to minimum phi is an initial phase or it is also known as epoch here one new factor is added that is kx or in another thing it completely depends right how you are representing the wave right somewhere example of this is taken somewhere right a different examples are taken right it completely depends right how you are representing the wave it completely depends right so uh, different sources different authors right they explain us into the different thing but i think we are going to understand this stuff by means kx minus omega t right y is equal to a sin kx minus omega t you can understand this thing right if i am expanding a sin of c k is 2 pi by lambda is x minus 2 pi by capital t why this equation is taken right right for the representation of a wave why see i'm going to show you all i want to going to explain that stuff 2 pi by lambda x lambda is the wavelength right this thing you all are aware of t is the time period right of an oscillation of an particle but small t is the fractional part of the time period right suppose the time period is 1 so at 0.5 second where particle is what is the position of the particle so that will show right i must write it as at specific time instance at specific time instance that is a desired time on which you need to calculate the parameters similarly if lambda is a wavelength that at this time instance 
विच पोजिशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल इज गेटिंग ऑसिलेटेड राइट विच पोजिशन कैपिटल टी इज अ टाइम पीरियड ऑफ द ऑसिलेशन स्मॉल टी एट वॉट टाइम यू डिजायर टू कैलकुलेट द मोशन पैरामीटर लैमड़ा इज द वेव लेन एक्स वॉट पार्ट ऑफ द वेव लेन वॉट इज द पोजिशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल ऑन द एंटायर वेव राइट एट दिस टाइम इंस्टेंट इन अनदर सेंस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट अंडरस्टैंड इट इन टू द समराइज फॉर्म एट दिस टाइम इंस्टेंट विच पोजिशन ऑफ राइट पार्टिकल इज गेटिंग ऑसिलेटेड not position of the particle is getting oscillated but at this time instant particle at which position is getting oscillated this is a perfect term right so this is how the wave equation is there right and what will be the wave condition wave condition is quite simple if any equation is given to you then d square y right by dt square is equal to constant d square y by dx square right if this condition is satisfied right we were having the equation of the shm na right what was the conditions of the shm if right acceleration is minus omega square x if this condition is satisfied then particles is performing the shm if this condition is satisfied then particle is performing the shm right if this condition is satisfied right the particle is performing the shm but i want to tell you all like this way if right the uh, del square y by del t square is equal to k that is a constant proportionality is d square y by dx square if this condition is satisfied right i must say it will be the wave equation right any kind of the wave equation may occur it might be the square wave it might be the square pulse or triangular pulse lots of uh, right shapes are there so this are the wave conditions okay this are the wave conditions now right we have seen the representation of the wave we are going to see some two to three sums related to it right we have seen the representation everything we have seen okay see a wave traveling okay one thing i want to discuss right that you all are aware of right if the wave is traveling into the right positive x direction right then in equation we are having the negative sign that is kx minus omega t right or in another sense right if the wave is propagating into this direction negative x direction we are having the positive sign right this thing you all are aware of right now question is ask see this are the questions right based on the fundamentals some two to three questions we are going to see right a wave traveling into the positive x direction having displacement along y is 1 the maximum displacement along y is 1 meter can i say it is an amplitude amplitude it is given as 1 meter wavelength is 2 pi right wavelength is what 2 pi right it's not 2 pi m it is 2 pi right it is 2 pi are yaar what's happening it's 2 pi right frequency is 1 by pi hertz right this question is asked in 2013 why right now what will be the actual equation of the wave see y is equal to a sin of kx minus omega t plus pi this is a standard wave equation right this is the standard wave equation right this is the standard wave equation now we are going to replace this values into form it right suppose if f is given right what will be the equation of omega omega is equal to 2 pi f so it will be 2 pi into 1 by pi so it is 2 radian per second what is the value of omega 
that will be 2 right now we need to calculate the value of k k will be 2 pi by lambda so it is 2 pi what will be the value of lambda it is 2 pi so value of the k will be 1 right can i consider this as equation number 1 can i consider this as equation number 2 can i consider this as equation number 3 replacing 3 and 2 in 1 right now it is given it is traveling into the positive x direction it means we are going to have negative sign into the wave so what will be the final equation y is equal to a right sine of right consider phi as 0 so y will be 1 sine of 1x right minus omega t what is the value of the omega that we got that is 2t right so what will be the equation of the wave y is equal to sine x minus 2t right this will be the wave equation according to the given parameters right this will be the wave equation right according to given parameters right d is a perfect answer for this specific question d is the perfect answer for this specific question okay now a wave in the string has the amplitude of simple two to three to four questions right pyqs based on the wave equation we are going to see a wave in a string has an amplitude of 2 cm. Amplitude of the wave that is 2 cm. The wave travels into the positive direction with the speed of 128 meter. Now wave speed is given, right? That is 128 meter per second. And it is noted by 5 complete waves fit. See, this word is, this statement is important. 5 complete waves fit in 4 meter of the length it means what 5 pulses right okay the length is 4 meter right in 5 pulses are 5 pulses 1 2 3 4 5 pulses are there it means length of the 1 pulse is lambda what is the length of the 5 pulses 5 lambda can i say it is equivalent to 4 what will be the wavelength of the 4 by 5 meter this will be the wavelength right so can i write it here lambda that is is equal to 4 by 5 meter right the equation okay now as usual what is the standard equation y is equal to a sine of kx minus omega t plus phi see suppose if the uh, description right uh, uh, the data related to the epoch the initial phase angle it is not given right then always discard it okay then right this thing is going to be the better option right so i am rewriting the standard equation of the wave y is equal to a sine s kx minus omega t right what is an amplitude of the wave it is 2 centimeters so it's 0 0.02 meter sine right still we are having right the two terminologies the first one k that is is equal to 2 pi by lambda right so can i say it is 2 pi by 4 into 5 this will be nearly equivalent to 7.85 so can I write it here 7.85x right omega that will be is equal to in another sense right see here lambda is given v is given right so according to the c omega is equal to 2 pi f right but you can replace this f by this equation v is equal to lambda so you can replace this as 2 pi v by lambda 
replacing this value we are getting omega as 1005 right we got our parameters we replaced it now we got stuck whether the sign in that equation will be positive or negative so the answer lies behind positive x the wave is getting propagated into the positive x direction it means what sign will be negative so this will be the equatorial wave equation right c will be the perfect answer for this specific question let's move on right can we consider the sound wave right as the pressure wave can we consider the sound wave as the pressure wave is it possible see basically when we are moving on to the classifications of the wave <coughs> we are having the simple classification right on the mechanical waves and the non-mechanical waves right in mechanical waves right let's move on into the roots of it okay then we are having the uh, further two classifications that is right the transverse waves and the longitudinal waves right so the first thing i want to tell you all about that is a transverse wave longitudinal wave transverse wave and the longitudinal wave now what happens here if i want to talk about the transverse wave then simply i can define it as right okay the oscillation of the particle is perpendicular to the propagation of wave oscillation perpendicular to the propagation but in the longitudinal wave oscillation is parallel to the propagation in the direction of the propagation of the wave now what happens here in the case of the longitudinal waves right whenever let us take an example right this is a wave is propagating from point a to point b this both are the part of the mechanical waves obviously they need a medium to propagate right and generally it is fixed that sound waves need a medium to propagate it is a fixed criteria right sound waves need a medium to propagate it's a very simple and fixed concept right so here suppose it is a longitudinal wave right and let us take an example if the wave is propagating into the positive x direction how the particles will oscillate in this direction right it means when the particle is at air it is oscillating in this direction right that direction that the, the direction of the oscillation right is in the parallel to the propagation of the wave right so in this case what happened right at the regular points right okay compression and the rare fractions are measured as because of this right there exists a pressure difference at the multiple points on the propagation of the wave the path of the propagation of wave so that's why sometimes these longitudinal waves are also considered as the pressure waves sometimes these longitudinal waves are also considered as the pressure waves so in this sound is a longitudinal wave right it needs a medium to propagate right and in some of the cases right sound waves are also considered as the pressure waves while propagation right uh, some of the com uh, this compression and the rare fractions are noticed compression and the rare fractions are noticed now basically three mediums are there right what a okay now let's see on to the speed of a wave in the stretch string i think this is the correction it's not a sound wave it is a wave into the stretch string now what happens here suppose if the wave is propagating from the stretch string right 
okay then at the some specific point we are able to measure the compressions and the rare fractions but i am talking about the topmost part of this what happens here consider a small mass at this point right okay while at the position where there is a maximum displacement of the particle right the particle of mass dm is facing the tension into the opposite sides right is facing a tension into the opposite side right okay so basically tension is having the two components right this will be the t cos of theta this will be the t cos of theta right this will be the t sin of theta and this will be the t sin of theta if you are considering this as the theta right okay so it means that the particle at the topmost position is facing the tension and tension is always tangent to that part right so this 2t sin theta it is going to provide the necessary centripetal acceleration necessary centripetal acceleration right so can i compare this to 2t sin of theta that is, is equal to dmv square by r right so 2t can i consider this theta is very 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 small so it is dmv square by r right so here we got 2t can i replace this angle suppose this length is dl right the length is dl so can i say theta is equal to dl by r so it's dl by r that is, is equal to dmv square by r from here we are getting that a for formula of right the speed of a wave into the stretch string right from here right on evaluating we are getting the speed of the wave on the stretch string as v is directly proportional to under root of t by lambda where lambda is a mass per unit length of the substance right lambda is mass per unit length of the substance so this is how it is derived how the speed or how the other wave propagates right through the stretch string and how the values are getting calculated i'm sorry for this error <coughs> okay now let's move on. If I'm talking about the sound wave, <coughs> right? Okay. Then Newton gave us the formula. Now let's have the explanation of the Newton. Let's take an example in between A and B. If sound wave is propagating, right? In some of the cases, sound wave is also considered as a pressure wave. So at some points, the compression and the rare fractions are major as because of this compression and the rare fraction the tension is produced right into the previous case okay kindly just mark out this point right now okay because in this case is right on the calculations we are considering those as the longitudinal waves right and then and then only if we are considering them then if we are considering them as the longitudinal wave then and then only right the compressions and rare fractions are major now what newton told whatever the pressure differences are coming while propagation right they are also known as the right pressure so whatever the pressure variations are there and whatever the energy exchange is going on right it is according to the thermodynamic process that is isothermal he considered like that way right isothermal it means that pv is equal to constant the temperature is constant he was no he was laplace actually corrected that stuff but previously was a very great big person but but admi right so they can oh he's right right so in this case velocity of the sound right it's p by rho right this is density of air this is atmospheric pressure right okay so on replacing all of those values he got 280 meter per second as speed of sound in air he got 280 meter per second so what happens here right he was actually wrong laplace corrected that formula he said that sound propagate
वेरी फास्ट द प्रोपोगेशन इज लाइक वेरी फास्ट एंड एज बिकॉज ऑफ दैट right as because of that right it does not have time for energy exchange as process is quite rapid so for that it is not isothermal wrong it is adiabatic process it is not isothermal it is adiabatic process it's not isothermal so it is actually pv raised to gamma is equal to constant and from that he determine the speed of the sound into the air as gamma p by rho where gamma is an adiabatic index 1.4 from that he got an actual corrected the correct value as approximately 332 and sometimes it is also calculated as 330 meter per second so laplas was a person who gave right the actual speed of the sound in the specific medium right so we are having some formulas related to it and on the basis of that right the actual speed of the sound air uh, right in the air is 330 meter per second so on the basis of that right we need to calculate this some a very simple formula very simple explanation and very simple stuff let's see a string of length 7 meter the length of the string that is is equal to 7 meter mass of the string is 0.035 kg if the tension in the string obtained that is equivalent to t is equal to 60.5 newton right then the speed of the wave into the string is asked in 2001 and 1989 see into the past years this kind of questions are not asked right because in this chapter the doppler effect and the cases of the organ pipes right plays the most prominent role right but 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 still we have to see this right so now we are having the direct formula of the speed of the sound that is is equal to under root of t by lambda replacing the value of lambda it is t by mass per unit length replacing all of those value that is 60.5 into the length 7 whole divided by 0.035 right we are getting the value right as the speed of the wave as 1 110 meter per second the c is a perfect answer for this specific question direct now let's move on to the next question the equation of the wave is represented by this then velocity of the wave will be what what very simple right equation is y is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 actually it is a case of the fundamentals but it's okay we are going to solve it immediately 100t minus x by 10 right velocity of the wave v is equal to lambda f right can i consider this is equation number 1 if i am comparing this equation to the standard equation of the wave right then it is omega t minus k of x right omega t minus k of x right so k will be equivalent to 1 by 10 that is is equal to 2 pi by lambda so lambda is equal to 2 nt pi can i consider equation number 2 yes right omega that is equivalent to 100 that is is equal to 2 pi f so f will be equivalent to 100 by 2 pi can i consider this as equation number 3 yes replacing 3 and 2 in 1 right so v is equal to lambda lambda is 20 pi and this is 100 by 2 pi 20 pi and we are going to get 100 by 2 pi so this is 2 pi is going to 10 velocity will be 1000 meter per second this is a perfect answer for this the speed of the wave in the medium is 960 meter per second see in specific medium the speed of the wave is 960 meter per second 3600 waves are passing in 1 minute what is its frequency 3600 cycles are crossing in 1 minute then what is its frequency right very simple frequency would be 3600 into 1 minute then 1 second how much unitary method 
सो यर द फ्रीक्वेंसी वुड बी एफ इज इक्वल टू राइट थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड बाई सिक्सटी सिक्सटी साइकल्स आर क्रॉसिंग इन पर सेकेंड राइट ना वॉट वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट देन द वेव लेंथ ऑफ द वेव विल बी वॉट v इज इक्वल टू लैमडा एफ राइट लैमडा इज इक्वल टू वी बाई एफ आंसर विल बी सिक्सटीन मीटर यस इट इज इजी एज एज मच एज वॉट यू ऑल आर थिंकिंग A wave of the frequency 100 hertz is sent in the string. See, a wave of the frequency 100 hertz is sent along the string over the fixed end. Frequency is 100 hertz. When the wave travels back after the reflection, a node is formed. Okay, this thing, yes, this will come up into the uh, standing waves. The temperature at which sound becomes double as that it was at 27 degree centigrade. Sound becomes double. See the speed of the sound and the relation with the temperature is this, right? Now, can I say v one by v two that is is equal to under root of t one by t two? The speed of sound is getting doubled, right? So it's v by two v that is is equal to under root of t one by t two. Right, so this v is going to cancel. T two is equal to four of t one. How much it is? Twenty seven degree centigrade. Right. Okay, twenty seven degree centigrade. Okay, as what as twenty day seven. So I think uh, yes, t two into four t one. Right. Okay, so the temperature with that sound becomes double. So this will be equivalent to what? T two that will be equivalent to twelve hundred Kelvin, and T two that will be equivalent to nine hundred and twenty seven degree centigrade. The C is a perfect answer for this question. So this kind of the questions are asked with the propagation of the longitudinal wave through the material medium. The quantity is transmitted in the propagation of wave. This thing we have already discussed. Which quantities are energy and momenta? right energy and momenta okay so i think this was all uh, regarding uh, the what actual the bits is right so i want to define if you want to define see when two sounds with very less frequency difference gets superimposed bits are produced i'm going to uh, show you all the live demonstration of bits right bits Right, you have seen this kind of a uh, thing, that this kind of the visual you have seen into the lots of films. Right, those who are playing DJ, they might be aware of on that screen. This kind of the visuals are always going on. Okay, so <coughs> bits <coughs> superimposition of the two sound waves with the very slight frequency difference. Suppose let us take an example to understand. Uh, let's take an example to understand it. Suppose this is a sound A. This is a sound B. They are getting superimposed at specific point, right? And one is of the frequency f one. Second is of the frequency f two. This is sound, right? This is sound s one. This is sound s two. This is of the frequency f one. This is of frequency f two. They are getting superimposed at the specific point. there is a slight difference between the frequency of uh, the two source right so here when they get superimposed and there is a slight frequency difference bits are produced mm. 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 that's a frequency the bit bits <coughs> very simple 
right? I'm not going to move on to the very long explanation for this, right? Because uh, separate questions based on bits are rarely asked, okay? Always the questions of the bits with the Doppler effect, right? Okay, uh, they holds the prior position and holds the highest weightage. And there is even the highest possibility high right for uh, this kind of the questions okay so bits one is source of frequency f1 second is the source of frequency f2 as because of their frequency difference right bit is produced right and that shows the bit frequency now what is this word beat frequency one bit see as because of let us take an example right let us take an example to understand this suppose f1 value is 100 hertz right f2 value is right 101 hertz what is an actually frequency different that is one one beats per second are getting produced mm. Mm. one beats per second so that will be a beat frequency na the technical word for that is a bit frequency one beat per second bit frequency one beat per second if suppose let us take another example if f1 we are taking it as an 100 hertz and we are changing the value of f2 as 102 hertz what is the frequency difference between them 2 hertz 2 bits see here can I say 1 beat per second it's a beat frequency 2 beat per second is a beat frequency 2 beats per seconds are getting produced when 2 sounds are getting superimposed with the very slight frequency 1 beats per second mm. Mm. Two beats per second. Like this way. Let us take an example. If we are giving the value of F1 as 100 hertz and value of the F2 as 103 hertz, what will be is delta F? bit frequency it means what three bits are getting produced per second three bits are getting produced per second three bits right one bit per second like two frequencies are getting superimposed with the very slight frequency difference then one bit per second is produced right so it says like mm, 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 one bit per second two bits per second <laughs> three bits per second <laughs> Right. So that shows the example of the beat frequency. A very simple formula we are having omega is equal to omega 1 plus or minus omega 2 right and here omega can be replaced as 2 pi f from this we are getting uh, in another sense right delta f that is, is equal to f1 plus or minus f2. Right now this was a very simple concept of the beat frequency now we are coming on to the most important part that is the Doppler effect. Right, beat frequency it's okay yeah. see if I want to explain this stuff right then I can take uh, only entire hour to explain the bits and beat frequencies and n numbers of sums related to it but priorly right the most important formula that I've shown and the combination of bits and the Doppler effect this kind of uh, sums are always asked into the examination so for that reason we are going to clear out the concept of Doppler effect and then 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 we will move on to that part now i am going to show you all the live demonstration of the doppler effect 
I'm extremely sorry for that. I'm going to show you all the live demonstration of the right. Okay. Uh, just to hold on. Right. I'm going to show you all the live demonstration. What actual the Doppler effect is. Right. What will be its actual definition? Right. We're going to see the lots of stuff. Right. But first of all, let's move on to the. Just hold on. Okay. Uh, okay. Are yaar, this. See. It's Doppler effect, right? Let's see. This is a source that is emitting the sound. I am the listener, right? Source emitting the sound. I am the listener. Okay, let's understand. Let's understand this. That was a Doppler effect. In Doppler effect, there is always one source that emits the sound. And one listener that listens the sound. Right? Source emits the sound. Listener listens the sound. There is always, right, whenever, not there is always, but whenever there is relative motion between the source and listener, then one apparent effect is generated. The name itself states that it is an apparent effect. Very simple thing, right? Whenever I want to tell you all, whenever, see, suppose let us take an example if source is emitting the sound of the frequency F. If source is emitting the sound of the frequency F, right? If both are stationary, right? If both are say stationary, so whatever the sound the source is emitting, right, the same sound F the listener are going to hear, right? Whatever the source will emit, the same thing will listener, right? Here, okay. Now, but if there is a relative motion. between source and listener anyhow there exists the so the, the relative motion between the source and listener then this f will get apparently changed and will produce one effect that is known as doppler effect I gave you all the live demonstrations of it when, uh, see, my mobile was a source, I was a listener, right? When I kept it at some distance, the frequency of the sound that the source was emitting, the same, 
right f the listener was hearing because there was no relative motion between the source and the listener now what happens here slowly slowly the source is coming nearer to the listener right so whatever amount of the f the source is emitting right whatever amount of the f the source is emitting right apparently f will increase right and when it will move away from the listener slowly 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 right in another sense while moving on from one point to another point near to the listener via listener right the lots of apparent variations in sounds are noticed that will create one effect and that is the doppler effect right that is the Doppler effect. Doppler effect. So simple definition of the Doppler effect states that whenever there is a relative motion between the source and the listener any kind of the relative motion between the source and the listener. So in that case what happens? right whatever the f source is emitting will get apparently changed and heard by listener that apparent change into the frequency of f that is heard by listener will create one effect doppler effect <coughs> i'm sorry best example of the doppler effect right best example I'm standing on the platform, train is coming near, is crossing through that station, right? When I was just standing, it is coming on from the left side and blowing a horn, right? So when it is coming near, the apparent frequency of the sound is getting increased and when the train moves away from the listener, the apparent frequency decreases. So is it mean that, the, see, source is not giving the variations, right, in the sound, no. As because of relative motion between the listener and the train, we are having the variations. Right? Train is emitting the sound of the frequency f, whether it is moving with 20 meter per second or it is moving with 1000 meter per second. Right? 1000 meter per second is not possible. Like, whenever it is moving with 1000 meter per second, yes, possible, possible. I thought about 1000 kilometer, I'm sorry. Right? The frequency of the sound that is emitted by the source, it is completely fixed, right? It is not getting changed, but as because of the relative motion, it feels to listener, right? That the sound frequency is getting either increased or decreased apparently. That creates an effect which is known as the Doppler effect, right? that creates an effect which is known as what doppler effect sorry for that is air conditioner part right i'm feeling okay so here what actual the core concept is see we are having always we are having one source right on the another side we are having one listener so source always emits the sound of the frequency f right Okay, now here he always hears the sound of the apparent frequency, right? F frequency, right, of sound emitted. F apparent apparent frequency of the sound that is heard by the listener one that is the frequency of the sound that is emitted second that is an apparent frequency of the sound that is heard by listener right now what how we can correlate this according to the doppler's effect see according to doppler effect right the apparent frequency heard Okay, that will be equivalent to 
frequency of the sound that is emitted velocity of source this is velocity of sound right in air right velocity of the listener and velocity of source right that shows the concept of the doppler effect right in the concept of the doppler effect i must say right the sign conventions right are quite important right sign conventions are quite important right sign conventions are quite important okay so rather than to move on into the uh, right detail aspects of this we'll consider right each and every case and we are going to solve the sums right okay for sign conventions i want to tell you all right for sign conventions right anyhow if apparent frequency increases right see what is the natural formula f apparent right that is f v plus v of l by v plus v of s this is a natural formula of it v plus v of l whole divided by v plus which see there can be any kind of the relative motion between the source and the listener we have to just check it out whether the frequency of the sound is getting increased or decreased the apparent frequency suppose the source is emitted as 100 and f apparent heard that is 200 so for sign conventions in this we need to adjust the value such that this f apparent should be higher than f right so for sign conventions don't get worried we are going to see the cases the 1d and 2d cases of the doppler effect right and we are going to understand the sign conventions through it okay okay so formula we have discussed right see now the case one of the doppler effect with all of those cases right we are going to understand the concept right the sign conventions of it now suppose here source is there right who is emitting the sound of the frequency f here listener is there right who is emitting the source or hearing the apparent frequency f suppose case number one velocity of the listener is zero and velocity of the source is v source is moving with the velocity v1 or let's take v1 right listener is stationary source is moving nearer to the listener right case one source is moving nearer to listener so what will happen here source is moving nearer to the listener and obviously the apparent frequency heard by the listener will get increased so how we can write down this thing into the formula f the actual formula is f apparent is equal to f emitted v of sound in air velocity of sound in air it's vl by vs are we having the velocity of the listener no okay now i'm applying the sign conventions to it f apparent is increasing so here it means that anyhow we have to increase the value of f apparent as compared to f for that i need to keep the minus sign into the denominator and keeping minus sign into the denominator then obviously the f apparent will get increased and it is matching mathematically right the equation mathematically is matching to the concept case number one let's take an example with the values to understand it suppose if the source is moving with 20 meter per second velocity of sound in air 
राइट दैट विल बी इक्विवेलेंट टू थ्री थर्टी मीटर पर सेकेंड फ्रीक्वेंसी एमिटेड बाई द सोर्स इज हंड्रेड हर्ट्स वट विल बी द एपेरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी डायरेक्टली वी नीड टू अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला हंड्रेड into 330 whole divided by 330 minus 20 right so what will be the apparent frequency heard that will be 100 into 330 whole divided by 310 right so f apparent frequency that will be 100 into 33 by 31 obviously this f apparent will be greater than emitted frequency this is the best way to write apply the sign conventions into the case of the doppler effect right the best way to apply the sign conventions into the case of doppler effect case 2 this is a source this is a listener now again see this listener is stationary it means velocity of the listener is zero now source is moving away with the speed v1 in previous case source was moving near to the listener now in this case source is moving away from the listener what happens here the f apparent right formula states that it is f right v by v and that is vl vs now how we are going to apply the sound sign conventions velocity of the listener is zero right so it means it will be f velocity of listener is zero so it is plus zero whole divided by v what is the velocity of source see now source is moving away right so the frequency the value of the apparent frequency that is heard by listener decreases so it means here we need to increase the value in the denominator so f apparent in the sign conventions in this case it is v plus v of s again let's take an example to understand this suppose velocity of the listener that is is equal to 10 meter per second sorry velocity of source that is moving away from the listener velocity of the sound in the air that is is equal to 330 meter per second apparent frequency heard that is 100 hertz what is the formula f apparent sorry f emitted is 100 it is f v by v vl vs plus plus this is an actual formula now we are applying the sign conventions that is 100 right using this formula that is 330 whole divided by 330 plus 10 right so what will be the apparent frequency that is 100 into 33 by 34 if you can calculate this i must say f apparent is less than frequency of the sound that is emitted why this happens because it is moving away from the listener case number 2 the one d case a very simple case of the doppler Now let's move on to the case number three. Again, we are taking the source, and we are taking the next party as listener. Now this time, velocity of the source we are taking zero, and listener is moving towards the source with the velocity v one. now what happens here right what happens here very simple thing directly we are going to see now the apparent frequency is getting in apparent frequency is a frequency that is heard by listener when the listener right is moving and the source is stationary and the listener is moving near to the source the apparent frequency heard by the listener is always increased is getting increased so in that case this apparent frequency that is f is equal to v plus v of l by v plus v of s right this value is getting increased right this value is getting increased right so here if i am saying right this is a source and this is a listener right this is a source right source is zero so it is f 
right source velocity is zero so v plus v of l okay now it is getting increased so can i say this is v if we need to increase the value of the app apparent right okay it's v plus v of l let's take an example to understand this suppose right v1 the listener is moving with the 10 meter per second frequency of the sound that is emitted that is 100 hertz Velocity of the sound in the air that is 330 meter per second. What is an F apparent frequency heard according to this formula? That is 100 into 340 whole divided by 330. If you are analyzing this equation, right, F apparent is greater than F of emitted. Right, F apparent is greater than F of emitted. Right, F of emitted. So, like this way, let's move on to the fourth case, right? Like this kind of the C. Basic sums of the Doppler effect are like this way, right? Source is moving listener, right? Listener is moving near to the source. Now, let's move on to the next case. Both are moving, right? Suppose, let us take an example, right? Both are moving nearer to the each other. The source is also moving, right? In the this side with the velocity V1 and it is moving like with the velocity V2. Right now, see if they are both moving near to the each other. Obviously, there exists a relative motion. Now, in this case, see if they are moving near to the, the each other, then F apparent is going to get increased. Right. So, according to the sign conventions, can I say the F apparent that is equal to frequency of the sound emitted, right, into V plus V of L plus V by S. Right. Now, we need to increase the value of F apparent. Why? Because it is given into the it is mentioned that both are getting near to the each other, right? So according to the sign conventions, F apparent, it will be F, right? To increase the value, it will be velocity. It's V plus V2 whole divided by V minus V1, right? Suppose we are taking an example to understand this situation, right? If the frequency of the sound emitted that is equivalent to 100 Hertz, right? Frequency of the sound that is emitted that is equivalent to 100 Hertz, right? V that is, is equal to 100 meter per. Okay, let's take on 10 meter per second. They both are moving with the velocity of 10 meter per second with respect to each other. That is V1 and V2 both are 10. V in air that is, is equal to 330 meter per second. Okay. Right. Using this formula, 330 plus 10, 330 minus 10. So it will be 100 into 34 by 32. That is 100 into 17 by 16. You can show the F apparent is greater than F. Why? They are moving nearer to the age. The last 1D case, if they are moving, right? Okay. Far away from each other right this is a source right this is a listener they are moving far away from the each other this is velocity v2 this is velocity v1 now if they are moving far away obviously the apparent frequency is going to get decreased the apparent frequency is going it's going to get decreased right so here we can say the f apparent that is equivalent to four frequency according to the sound sign conventions we will need to decrease the value of the f apparent so can i say it is f v minus v of 2 whole divided by v plus v of 1 right if you are replacing the values your f apparent will be less than f right why they are moving away from the each other like this way sign conventions are applied into the doppler effect and entire doppler effect is based on one simple formula Another case of the Doppler effect in which bits and bit frequencies are involved. In which bits and bit frequencies are involved. Right. Sorry for that. Okay. Now let's see. One car is there. It is moving with velocity V1. Right. This is a case of the reflection from the wall. In this case, this is not a 2D case of the Doppler effect. 
after this we are going to discuss the one of the 2d case of the doppler effect but this is what right in when then this in this case right the doppler effect is used twice right students are always getting confused in uh, some kind of examples in which suddenly the absorber the observer is getting converted into the source right that is one special right example for it okay then then we are going to discuss that stuff here only reflection from the wall suppose this is a car wall is stationary always the velocity of the wall is zero it is emitting the sound of the frequency f the wall that is emitting the sound of the frequency f right sound of the frequency f now what happens here into the first part of the doppler effect the car is a source first part the entire process is getting divided into the two parts first part the car is emitting the sound the wall is absorbing it second part wall is reflecting whatever amount of the sound it's receiving okay it's reflecting the entire sound with zero energy loss and in the second part right the scar is hearing that same sound okay with some apparent frequency this happens into the case of echoes whenever we are standing near to the hill area right and we used to roar hello and we used to hear the apparent frequency of this hello 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 like this so first part when car is moving near to the this is a source right wall is the listener right wall is the listener so what happens here right okay the apparent frequency heard by the wall that is frequency of the source emitted see now listener is stationary source is moving near it means whatever the apparent frequency that is heard by the wall it will get increased right listener is zero so it will be v minus v this will be the value of the apparent frequency that will be now there is a spatial characteristics of the wall the wall holds the spatial characteristics right the humans are having the two years na humans are having a two years right whatever we used to hear from this side in hindi yeah, there is right ek kahawat hai ek kaan se suno dusre kaan se nikal lo right wall does the same thing right okay whatever the amount of the right frequency is getting absorbed the entire thing is get emitted get emitted so suppose if f apparent frequency is heard by the wall right okay whatever wall absorbs whatever wall absorbs right it reflects back now here comes the second part in the second part wall become source right and the car becomes listener right wall becomes source car becomes listener now velocity of the source is zero and velocity of the listener right it is v1 that is moving nearer to the wall again right here the f apparent frequency 2 that is named as heard by car again that will be equivalent to f now velocity of the source is getting zero this should get increased it's v plus v1 by v right car is blowing a horn so it will become source 
the apparent frequency f that is absorbed by the wall the wall holds a spatial characteristics whatever it is going to absorb it is like it will release with no energy loss so first part completes here in the second part right the source become observer observer become or the source become listener the listener become source now when wall is reflecting back the sound then it will become source and the one car is hearing the apparent frequency it will become listener this is the special case of the doppler effect right sir we are having a question into the mind where bits are getting generated what will be the bit frequency what car is emitting f what car is re receiving apparent frequency 2 they are getting superimposed now i am blowing up a horn continuously is getting reflected back so what i am emitting f what i am re re receiving f apparent 2 uh, are they are getting they are getting superimposed yes they are getting superimposed here bits will get generated in this case bit frequency f source emits sound of frequency f apparent 2 source receives the sound after getting reflected at this point of time at the car superimpositions will take place and the difference between this two right will generate a bit and that will be the bit frequency then this this kind of the questions are asked see what kind of the questions are asked see i'm going to show you all see suppose this is a wall right car is moving with the 20 meter per second speed and it is emitting the sound of 500 now they ask us the question how many bits right car years or what is the bit frequency simple f apparent heard by wall so that is, is equal to f right first it is source and the wall is a listener right so it is v we need to increase the value because right the source is moving near to the listener right okay so source is moving so this is v minus v of s so that is equivalent to 500 right 330 whole divided by 20 that is 310 so this much amount of the frequency that is absorbed by the wall now whatever wall is having the spatial characteristics whatever it takes it releases right so now what is the f apparent to heard so that is, is equal to f so it's 330 plus 20 whole divided by 330 right so it is f into 35 by 33 what is the bit frequency right that is f into 35 by 33 minus f so it's 2f by 33 right 2f by 33 it means what 2 into 500 whole divided by 33 33 bits per second right car is your ring with this data this kind of the questions are asked and here the doppler effect is getting combined with the bits and bit frequencies here comes the 2d case of the doppler effect in 2d case it's a very simple thing it is based on one single concept in 2d and 3d cases of the doppler effect right the velocity component that is approaching the right the line joining two particles will produce doppler effect again i'm writing down this statement the velocity components that 
that lies on line joining the source and listener or two objects right will produce doppler effect right formula is going to be same sign conventions are going to be same but let's uh, see this suppose this is a junction right this is a source moving with the velocity v1 towards the junction and this is the listener right moving towards the velocity v2 towards the junction now they are both are moving towards the junction it means anyhow right they are coming nearer to the each other it means f apparent frequency is going to get increased now let's join the line between the source and listener right okay mm, okay this will be angle theta 1 this will be angle theta 2 again i am on my words the components of the uh, this velocity that lies on the line joining between this two right will produce the doppler effect what is the component of the source that lies on the line joining v1 cos of theta 1 what is the component right of a listener that is joining on the line that lies on the line v2 cos theta 2 this velocity components will be considered as a velocity of source and listener and that will produce the doppler effect so entire 2d case of the doppler effect is based on a simple statement entire So what will be the suppose the source is emitting the sound of the frequency f so f apparent heard by the source that is is equal to f right this is the velocity of the sound in air now see they are coming nearer to the each other according to the sign conventions the value of the f apparent frequency should get increased this is getting increased it means beneath we are having negative sign what is the velocity of the listener v2 cos of theta 2 what is the velocity of source v1 cos theta 1 this is how doppler effect is applied into the 2d cases this is how doppler effect is applied into the 2c cases and it's all about right apart from this there is one rotation uh, this uh, the case right there is one special case in which source a uh, listener is in between and source is moving around the listener into the circular path right it is a special case of the doppler effect but i think this much is enough right according to the weightage and uh, the importance right this much is enough <clears throat> what actual the standing wave is how overtones are produced how we can correlate right to the fundamental frequency see to understand the concept of standing waves i'm giving you all one example Suppose there is a wall in front, I have attached a thread, a rope to it. Now applying a gentle push once. What will happen? One pulse will be generated and it will propagate to the another part of the rod. Now, when I am applying a push or like I am applying a force, when pulse is generated, it is propagating to the another part of the thread or a rope at another if it is fixed the another end of the rope if it is fixed then that pulse will reflect back from it that is known as a reflection of the wave where phase angle changes by 180 that you all are aware of now what happens right suppose continuously where i'm applying a force like this way continuously right n numbers of the pulses are generated n numbers of pulses are getting incident to the another end n number of the pulses are changing their phase by 180 degree and n number of the pulses are getting reflected back 
Now what happens here? N numbers of pulses are moving on, getting incident to the another end, changing their phase by 180 degree and get reflects back. So what happens here? Here standing waves are produced. How? The N number of the waves are moving in front, N numbers of big waves are coming back, reflect back. They are getting reflected back. Right? N numbers moving front, N numbers are getting reflected back. N numbers are moving front, N numbers are getting reflected back. So finally, right, they are getting superimposed and as a resultant standing waves are produced. Right? Let's understand this example. Right? Let's understand this example in detail. Right? Let's understand this example in detail. Now, suppose these are the two fixed wall. Rope is attached to it. A slight disturbance is caused in between. Like this way. Slight disturbance. Like this way. Right? A slight disturbance is caused. Now, what happens here? See. Suppose if we are giving the high disturbance, it's okay. First string will right string will start moving up and down, up and down, and slowly, slowly, if right high force is applied, right, then this is a first part of the standing wave. This kind of thing will appear in front, right this kind of a thing will this is a part of a pulse it is not an entire pulse but it's a part of the world pulse and this thing right will appear after this suppose again if the high amount of the force is applied continuously then what will happen slowly right the shape will be replaced by this way right now entire pulse is generated Again, if one stops, if it continues for the long amount of the time, this kind of the shape is generated. This will be generated into the second part and this will be done in the third one. Right? So this is not actually what you all are thinking about. Thread is not taking this kind of the shape. No, no, no. Pulse is getting transmitted, it is getting reflected back, superimposition is going on, finally this kind of the wave structures are formed, right, and those are known as standing waves, right, those are known as the standing waves, let's have the detailed analysis of it, right, okay, see, if I'm talking about uh, the fundamental mode of the standing wave the fundamental mode of the standing wave now what happens here right fundamental mode appears like this way this is the length of the spring right now we need to the second step is we need to identify nodes and anti nodes right this is a node this is an anti node and this is a node now just keep one thing into your mind distance between the two nodes it is always lambda by 2 distance between the two anti nodes is always right lambda by 2 okay and distance between the node and anti node is always lambda by 4 this thing you need to remember if you want right to understand the concept of the organ pipes into the quite convenient manner right if you want to understand the concept of the right uh, this one organ pipes into the quite convenient manner then you need to remember this right okay now what is the distance between the two nodes the simplest way i'm talking about right you don't have to remember the first overturn is going on the second overturn no no you have to just remember the fundamental logic of the standing waves what is the distance between two 
in this case what is the distance between the two nodes lambda by 2 can i consider the distance between the two nodes as the length of this spring string for this case only so we got length of the spring as a string as a lambda by 2 right so what will be the lambda that will be 12 can i say v is equal to v is equal to lambda f so frequency is equal to v by lambda f is equal to v by 12 yes successfully we obtain the fundamental frequency right this is the fundamental frequency right of the standing wave or the fundamental mode of the standing wave right now suppose if we are talking about the first two over 10 it is like this way right so again this is node this is node this is node distance between two node is lambda by 2 distance between two nodes is lambda by 2 can i consider this as the length of the string yes so in this case the length that is is equal to lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 that is is equal to lambda so here the frequency of the first over turn right the frequency of the first over turn we are getting v by l or 2v by 2l Now let's move on to the second over 10. Now see, things are moving like this way. Okay, this kind of the right standing waves are formed. Again, this is node, this is node, this is node, and this is node. This distance is lambda by 2, this distance is lambda by 2, this distance is lambda by 2. So what will be the total distance? 3 lambda by 2. So here the frequency of the second over turn, right? Okay, the length is equal to 3 lambda by 2, right? So the frequency of the right uh, the second over turn is equal to 3v by 2l. Right. Can I consider this as equation number 2? Can I consider this as equation number 1? Can I consider this as equation number 3? From 1, 2, 3, right. It is not important that you want you can obtain this equation the general equation of the frequency no it's there is no need for that right you can just understand the concept distance between two nodes lambda by two distance between two anti nodes right lambda by two distance between node and anti node like this things will get quite easy just calculate the distance between whether the see in between two edges whether the nodes are formed or anti nodes are formed just calculate the distance between them compare it to the length obtain the fundamental mode first over turn second over turn like that so this is the best way to understand this concept right first harmonic second harmonic third harmonic right so here what we got fundamental mode right we got it as fundamental frequency as v by 2l right you can write down the equation as n v by 2l where n is changing from 1 3 sorry 1 2 3 4 like that right what is the first over turn rather than to move on for the harmonics right okay just remember the over turns right frequency of the first over turn 2v by 2l frequency of the second over turn right okay that is f2 that is is equal to 3v by 2l f3 that is is equal to 4v by 2l it moves on like this way you can remember this stuff of the standing waves now in standing waves right we are having the concept of right the open organ pipe and same uh, the closed organ pipe same way we are going to use right same thing same thing we are going to the same procedure we are going to follow for the rest 
Now suppose we are having the closed pipe in front. First of all, I'm going to draw what is the fundamental mode, what will be the first overturn, right? Okay, there is a small difference between the fundamental mode and the first and second overturn. Let's see that stuff, right? Okay, closed organ pipe. Closed organ pipe, right? It is closed at one end. Right, simple thing. Closed at one end. A very simple thing. Now what happens here? Right. If when the uh, it is closed at one end, right? Always anti node, right? Always anti node is formed at the open end. Just keep one thing into your mind, right? Always right always anti node is formed at one end right so here we are having node right we are having anti node what is the distance between node and anti node can i say it is, is equal to lambda by 4 can i consider in this case the lambda by 4 as the length of the column lambda by 4 that is is equal to length of the column right lambda by 4 as the length of the column Right, so what will be the lambda that is 4L, right? What is equal to frequency V by lambda that is, is equal to V by 4L. This is the fundamental frequency, right? Fundamental frequency of the closed organ pipe. A simple way to identify it. Now let's move on to the first. Right, see now, this is a closed organ pipe. First will be like this way. Now in this case here we are having the odd harmonics. You can say half of the wave is formed array. Okay, I'm going to show you all in front. Just hold on. Right. Now this will be uh, right the first two over 10. Right. And this is known as third harmonic. Right. So here again we are having node, node, anti node. Distance between node and node lambda 2. Distance between node and anti node lambda by 4. So, what is the total distance? The length is that is equivalent to lambda by 2 plus lambda by 4. So, that is, is equal to 3 lambda by 4. Right? Okay. So, here what will happen? Okay. The frequency of the first overturn, or that is uh, in another sense, third harmonic. Right? That will be equivalent to, right? Uh, 3v by 4l. Now let's move further for the second overturn, right? And the fifth harmonic. It will be like this way, right? Second overturn, okay? Fifth harmonic. In this case, node, 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 anti node. Distance between node and node lambda 2. Node and node lambda by 2. Lambda plus lambda by 4. Right. So it is phi lambda by 4. So in this case, the L that is equivalent to phi lambda by 4. And the second overturn or in another sense, it is known as fifth harmonic. Right. Okay. That will be equivalent to phi V by 4 L. This is how things go on into the closed organ pipe. Very simple. Right. This is how things goes on into the closed organ pipe. See, things are quite simple. Another part. Simple. See, in the closed organ pipe, what happens? Right. Okay. In closed organ pipe, what happens? Right. The things are closed at one end. Right. So it means we are having the odd harmonics. Right. That's why. See, if you can compare this closed organ pipe to this uh, standing waves. In standing waves, we were having fundamental mode, first overturn, harmonic, like this way, right? Okay, but if we are comparing this to the, this one, closed organ pipe, then we are having first overturn, then we are having the third harmonic. Odd harmonics are formed. Why? Because the pipe is closed at one end. But if I'm talking about the open organ pipe, then it is quite simple, right? 
let's directly see open organ pipe is open at both end right first thing that i want to write it down here right okay on the both open side anti node is formed right so let's have the analysis right for the fundamental mode now in this case fundamental is like this way this is the fundamental mode and in this anti node node anti -node. right fundamental mode now what happens here distance between the two anti node right can i say the length of the spring that is distance between two anti node right and this is between the two anti node that is equivalent to lambda by 2 right so here the fundamental frequency is v by lambda that is is equal to v by 2l right so this is the fundamental frequency rather than to move on for the generalized concept or generalized formula right this uh, way is quite easy to remember this organ pipes right just identify the whether it is node or anti node at the two edges of the organ pipe at the two ends of the organ pipe calculate the distance between them compare it to the length of the string and find the frequency that's it right okay now like this way we can move on to this is anti node node right anti node node anti node right so distance between two this is lambda by two this is lambda by two total length lambda by two plus lambda by two that is is equal to lambda right so here we are getting the value uh, this uh, velocity as i'm sorry the frequency as symbolic notations right f that is is equal to 2v by 2l right like this way you can calculate right this is the first order right this is how our organ pipes are identified okay now let's move on to some sums of related to it an air column closed at one end and open at other okay we are talking about an air column that is closed at one end and open and other it, it means that we are talking about the closed organ pipe it resonates with the tuning fork when the smallest length is 50 centimeter see this question is asking 2060 we are talking about the closed organ pipe right the smallest length right it means we are talking about the fundamental mode the smallest length is 50 centimeter right it means we are talking about the fundamental mode so here we are having node and anti node distance between node and anti node that is is equal to lambda by 4 that is length and that is is equal to 50 centimeter the next largest length so this is a fundamental mode after that right we are having the largest length as like this way right so that will be equivalent to 3 lambda by 4 so the largest length that is is equal to 3 into lambda by 4 that is is equal to 150 centimeter right c is a perfect answer for this basic question see this kind of questions are there it's very simple right the fundamental frequency of the closed organ pipe of length 20 centimeter see again closed organ pipe it is given length is given 20 centimeter right second overturn the fundamental frequency of the close is equivalent to second overturn of open fundamental frequency of close that is equivalent to second overturn of open organ pipe right fundamental frequency of the close that is equivalent to see what was the fundamental frequency of this closed right we saw it right now only this from this right here the distance between node and anti node is lambda by 4 right so the fundamental frequency is v by 4 of l 
right so this is the length of the closed pipe what we need to calculate the length of the organ pipe that is open at both ends okay no worries okay so fundamental frequency of the closed pipe it is v by 4l second overturn they are talking about right second overturn of the closed organ pipe it means it is 3v by 4l open right so here vv is going to cancel right 4 is going to cancel right how much it is no i'm sorry 3v by 2l extremely sorry okay here 3v by 2l right so here we are having 2 okay so l of open that will be equivalent to 3 into 2 into l of closed right so 6 into 20 the length of the open organ pipe it is equal to 120 centimeter right b is a perfect answer in 2015 this question is asked as a pyq a closed pipe is excited to support the third overturn we are talking about the closed organ pipe it is excited to support the third overturn right it is found that in third overturn how many nodes and how many anti nodes are there question is asked in 1991 see this is a fundamental mode right in fundamental mode one node is there one anti node is there right if we are talking about the fundamental node right into the first overturn right node node anti node anti node two nodes are there two anti nodes are there in second overturn right in second overturn this is node 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 anti node anti node anti node three nodes three anti nodes see sequence is followed in fundamental one node one anti node in first overturn one two nodes two anti nodes in second overturn three nodes three anti nodes then what will be in third overturn four nodes four anti nodes this will be the perfect answer for this specific question you can even draw it right okay okay so this one is uh, yes this one is homework from my side right this question is asked in 2016 this one is homework from my side guys you can just answer this right beneath the video right into the comments i will be waiting for that okay it's very simple thing okay this kind of thing you asked okay ah sorry for this uh, right uh, thanks 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 a lot guys yeah uh, please uh, thanks uh, so it was the last session of the champion series right but uh, yet a lot of things are going to come okay things really are going to come and they are really going to enhance you right okay even the special message is uh, about to come from my side for the aspirants of j right okay so uh, at the very last moment of this lecture, I really want to share, uh, right, the some of my best experiences with you all, right. When I st when when we when the entire team we were about to start this champion series, right, a hard discussions were going on, right. So we were completely dealing with uh, right on the list of the requirements of the students that what we want to do, what we want to do, or what we do, right, what we want, what we not want to do. And what will be an actual thing that will be required for students, right? So after the uh, right analysis and this thing, champion series came out. And even uh, the students of JE and NEED were requesting also. So we are in need, we are in need of this kind of series. Okay, so champion series. We started with the units and measurement, followed by motion in one day. So when that discussion completed. I thought yeah, a new thing should uh, right introduce should be introduced for the welfare of I can't say welfare but for the betterment of the students yes betterment is a perfect word so at that time I thought yes so we introduced a teaser but I think it's not an end it's a beginning 
right? It's not an end, it's the beginning of a new thing. As you all know, the PW is a box of surprises. Yes, new thing is going to come. And this time, I guarantee, with teasers, right? A really new thing is going to come. Let's wait and watch. Wait and watch, right? So just stay tuned to this channel, right? Okay. Bundle of preparation things we are going to bring right in front and for you all and uh, again 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 i am really overwhelmed by the response that you all gave right to my teaser really 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 thank you for that right you gave the awesome response for my teaser i did right many sleep sleepless nights are there right but i did i did for you all right i thought physics should be represented into the very different manner and i did it for you all so uh, again thanks right okay, uh, we covered the maximum part that was needed from the weightage point of view for the examinations the maximum part of this labels we covered still content never ends things never ends creativity never ends right innovation never ends science advancements into the science and technology never ends right but i assure you the things are going to come into the most innovative way into the most creative way i guarantee things are going to really really the things are going to come into the most innovative way the most creative way that you have never thought of So that's why thanks 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 a lot for your love that you showered us on that uh, champion series and as usual i will be waiting for all of your comments beneath this video right thanks 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 a lot so that's all from my side again we will be coming up with the new and awesome contents right for you all because this is a pw english right here we all are for you so this is indrajit singh it's not a buy or nothing like that but yes we are going to come with the double action we are going to come with the double teaser this time we are going to come with the new film soon so this is indrajit singh signing off from the dash bye bye satsri akal and namaste from my side bachcha ji and in last i want to tell you all never underestimate yourself there is always something special in every child it doesn't means one is getting succeeded other remains behind it doesn't means that you are right you are wrong or you will never get succeeded in the entire life life time when the life span no आखिरी में हिंदी में आपके साथ आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू जस्ट टू थिंग्स हारे हुए जिनको सफलता नहीं मिली है कभी बेवकूफ नहीं होते वक्त का तकाजा है राइट right? और इसका मतलब ये भी नहीं है कि वो जिंदगी भर हारे हुए रहेंगे द लास्ट थिंग वेन एवर यू विल फील लाइक यू आर फीलिंग सप्रेस्ड राइट और यू आर फीलिंग लाइक like in a competition you are feeling just always keep one thing in your mind it reminds me about the shairi of a border chaman mein ik tihate rangbu se baat banti hai hum hi hum hai to kya hum hai tum hi tum ho to kya tum ho hum hi hum hai to kya hum hai tum hi tum ho to kya tum ho army air force Army, air force. Army, air force. Everyone is special in their respective domain, right? So students, हमेशा याद रखना हम ही हम हैं तो क्या हम हैं तुम ही तुम हो तो क्या तुम हो So this is time to go. This is Indrajit Singh signing off from the desk again. Again, we will come back with this awesome session. Will right and stay updated to this channel. This is Indrajit Singh. Signing off from the desk. Bye bye. Satsari Akal and Namaste from my side, Bachcha Ji. Bye everyone.
stay at home stay safe stay healthy i miss this things right take care so thank you students thanks 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 a lot okay it's time to go yes i will be waiting for all of your feedbacks beneath the video about this lecture and about the entire victory batch and even i'll be waiting for all of your comments that what should come right uh, what should come what should come next i will be waiting for all of your feedback so guys this is uh, indrajit singh your own physics educator it's time to go signing off from data spy bye sat sri akal and namaste from my side bye stay at home stay safe stay healthy amidst this pandemic bye bachcha ji